Hello, once again, and we are now going to have a quick review of our lesson in biogeochemical cycle, in which there is water cycle, carbon cycle, phosphorus cycle, nitrogen cycle. But first off, we're going to talk about water cycle. Now, let me ask you, is there a starting and an ending part of a water cycle? Yes, you're right. There is no starting or ending part because water is just a cycle. But for the sake of this explanation, for the screencast, we're going to start with the process of evaporation. We know that water is everywhere. We can always see water in the oceans, lakes, streams, rivers. And when there is heat, the liquid water turns to gas. That process is called evaporation. Okay, remember from liquid to gas, evaporation. Now, after the gas is in the atmosphere, condensation happens where in the gas we stay in the clouds and it's full, they're ready to precipitate in the form of rain, sleet, snow. Precipitation, that's the process, precipitation. What about in plants? Plants also undergo a process from the liquid to gas. There is a process wherein the liquid water from the plants will transpire or evaporate into the atmosphere and that is called transpiration. Transpiration, you have to remember that word, transpiration. Then the water, of course, from the plants will transpire, go to the clouds for condensation or gas to liquid. Then the it's fall, then it rains, sleet or slow, will fall to the ground again. The water surface runoff, some runoff from the mountains, rivers. Then we go to groundwater and the water will go back again to the ocean. And the process will continue. The cycle of water will go again and again. So I have to remember, you have to remember evaporation, that is from liquid to gas or water vapor. Transpiration, this is the, the evaporation in plants. Condensation, gas to liquid, it's formed into clouds and precipitation is in the form of rain, sleet, snow, or hail. I hope you've learned something today about water cycle. Next, we go to carbon cycle. Are you ready? Okay, carbon cycle, where can we get the carbon? Where can you find the carbon? Carbon can be found in fossil fuels. or the carbon dioxide cycle is here. So what happens is you have to remember our past lesson about photosynthesis, which needs carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to make food while plant Respiration is where carbon dioxide is being given off. And glucose and oxygen are needed to make the energy. That's plant respiration for, for the plants. While for animals and humans, we excrete carbon dioxide in the air. And so the plants will receive it. 